Hello everyone and welcome to Net Crypto where you get important information and news about all coins and tokens of interest and today we are taking a look at one such token Joey Inu right is it legit or is it a scam so we are going to be doing uh, a review of this token right today to try and establish and ascertain whether it's a scam or it's legit so subscribe to the channel thumbs up to their video if you appreciate the content so what is joey inu so greetings uh future joey inu holders we are here to take you on a wild ride through our universe inspired by none other our favorite cartoon rascal joey from Oggy and the cockroaches get ready for a token that's going to make you sit up and say wow this is different right so it's sort of like a meme type of token play to end game right in the works and uh, a few promises right to, the, to look forward to so just answering the question legit or scam right off the bat i encourage you to watch this video all the way to the end right before you make any decisions all the way to the end and by the way not financial advice i'm just letting you know what i would personally do so one of the things that i do like about this is they've got a vision right they've got uh, their own meme that is not anything pepe like or anything that has been around they are still even using the inu right we do know a lot of projects are dropping the inu but they are using the inu right which means they're determined and uh they're trying to build something right so me personally i do not think at this stage that this is uh, a scam but there are some concerns in this project and i'm going to be sharing with you those concerns and that's why I say you need to watch all the way to the end. Right. So first thing first, let's just jump and take at the take a look at the contract. So there are five attention items, right, uh, in terms of the contract. Of course, ownership is not renounced. That's not really a major issue whether ownership is renounced or not, since this is like a there is a play to end game that is coming. Probably a lot more development that is going to be required. So it needs the contract to be open so that. They can have ability to add functions and all of that to work with whatever they are going to be building. It's not really a, a huge issue if the contract is not renounced, right? So let's jump into the five attention items that we see right here. So the first one is uh, functions that can suspend trading. This is obviously worrying. Uh, if a uh, suspendable code is included the token may be neither be bought nor sold right so this function can be activated at any time right and also trading cooldown function so the contract has the trading cooldown function within a certain time or block after buying the user will not be able to sell the token it's not a huge concern because it can be a huge concern, but sometimes this feature is added for those people who were part of the founding members or, or uh, people who bought at the uh, pre-sale, right? So there might be agreements as to how many you can sell. So the contract owner might want to uh, limit the number of people that are going to sell to try and help the price to be stable and not have the price to be uh, just drop in value token dump so to speak so also until well limited number of transactions the number of uh, token transactions is limited the number of tokens uh, transactions may be limited right until well modifiable text can be modified so obviously the text currently is five percent for buy and five percent for text a lot of the projects are dropping the text altogether so it is quite interesting that they've got the text in there right it is understandable with uh, their roadmap and some of the things that they are going to be doing that they are going to be needing a lot of revenue right to develop some of those things so these are the con the concerns for me for this project the uh, attention items are all mainly linked to limiting trading right which can be a honeypot risk that we can see but um i, I can say at the same time that these type of functions that we see can assist in terms of the token uh, controlling a token dump from those people who have bought at the pre-sale or some of the founders who've got a large number of tokens from just dropping the tokens uh, all at once, right? So about 40% of the tokens are held with the top 10, right, uh, users. Currently, uh, about 700, close to 700 users, uh, holders of the token right now. So let's jump into their roadmap right so okay of course this is their white paper tokenomics we do see here uh five five percent is end for staking rewards keep your uh joey inus and more joey inus it's as simple as that five million percent is set aside for game rewards because 
um, what's life without a little play, right? So whenever you see staking, right, you always need to ask yourself where the money is coming from. But since there is a game, hopefully there are ads, there are certain things that are going to help in generating a revenue for the staking. Who doesn't like it? Uh, just end back and relax and all that. The staking feature will be live this month. So that's what they are saying. So I'm always worried about projects that launch staking. Uh, how, do, how do you make it sustainable? Joey Inu has got a supply of about 100 million tokens. How do you, where is the money coming from? Because for you to be offering rewards for staking, then the money has to be coming from Norway, which is a huge risk of just receiving the native token as a reward for staking right that's a major red flag but it is like that in many other projects as well right and then roadmap right stage one idea oriented development website building community building pre-sale uh, listing on pancake swap listing on coin uh, cmc coin gecko 1000 holders so these are all things that they have done still working on that 1000 holders but no doubt with the cmc listing they will be reaching that Stage two, 3,000 holders listing on centralized exchanges. This is one thing that I also did see on their Twitter, right? They did say here that KYC plus audit plus listed on exchanges, right? Of course, they're not saying centralized exchanges. Currently, it's just a DEX pancake swap. So it is a bit of play of words right there, right? And uh, also developing Joey Marketplace, developing Joey voting feature, uh so what so okay that is going to be interesting right uh, launch the ambassadors campaign cooperate and promote with partners stage three five thousand uh holders launch joey marketplace launch joey voting launch uh so this launch joey voting did they not launch this in stage two already right uh developing okay developing joey voting feature so here they're developing it and then they are going to launch it in stage three right and then more coming soon okay so this is a meme like token uh an understandable roadmap that they've got i'm not labeling this one as scam as yet but i'll say if you want to enter into this one right just give it some time give it between four to eight weeks see uh what is occurring on there and um see what the how the team treats investors in the telegram group and all of that and then you make a decision i would say at least around four on the four week mark i'll be coming back let me just add this to my watch list to just check how joey inu does right uh but at the moment i'm not seeing any i'm not getting any scamming vibes from this one i've also checked them out here and the other thing is i did check on um token sniffer 15 days ago the contract was developed so these are guys with an original idea it's not one of the uh things that i actually need to raise here is the fact that they use this uh joey character this character seems to be trademarked right if you just go on to google and then check out you can see that this is a trademark character this is a, a a little bit of a worry because we've seen some projects that have basically have had huge support and all that but then down the line when they get really popular because they used a trademark uh a persona or whatever they run into issues right because the person now starts calling out the trademark and they would either have to pay large sums of money right to purchase the trademark or they have to change the project naming and everything all together right which can be a huge major issue so that's one other risky aspect towards this uh joey inu token so this is my review for this one let me know down in the comment section what you think right uh, thumbs up to the video subscribe to the channel if you appreciate the content so thank you and i'll see you in the next one